Okay, well, hello. Now, sorry the lighting's a little off. Uh, it's really uh, unbearably hot outside. And the storms are on their way, so I couldn't use outdoor light on the, like I did with the rest of these updates. But the uh, Mage Wrath Throne is complete with a couple surprises. So, um, it doesn't, the, the base doesn't look like much uh, from a perspective of, you know, it's, dark black rock. <laughs> there is, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, you can see the gray is being caught by the light, uh, gray highlights. So there are segments of this that have actually been kind of lightened up a bit as a, a grayish highlight, gives a little weathered look, but it's kind of subtle. I think when it gets another coat of uh, varnish, it might be even more subtle. That's one of the fears I have about the way I did the weathering on that rock is it might be a little too subtle. Um, but I did darken the the eye sockets to give that some extra uh, depth and uh, feeling. And up top <clears throat> it turned out really well. Take a look at the uh, uh, skull skull detail. It actually comes out really nice with the, the wash. You can see that. And here on the side, it would be hard to see the side ones, but yeah, actually back here you can tell. You can see how up here on the these two skulls, they've got the cracked skull. And so I used a soft tone uh, as an overall wash on all of the skulls, and then used a dark tone i oh, sorry, Strong Tone Armor Painter with a fine brush to actually paint in any of the skull fractures. So that looks good. Now overall, it's a <clears throat> the uh, throne and statues are Balthazar Gold from Citadel, but I used a Delta Gold uh, highlight on the very edges to brighten up a bit. So it's not catching really well on this LCD. Hopefully it's coming across on the the video when it's actually uh, in the uh, editor. Now I noticed the seat top was actually um, it was actually textured like it was cushioned so went ahead and upholstered that with uh, red a couple different shades of red with a army painter red tone wash Okay, <clears throat> and you can see in the back so there's some red on the background, backdrop. Okay. And I just think it, it really ties the model together. Now, one thing else I did, you can see the eyes on these statues are red. When I looked at those, I actually got to painting them. I was like really impressed by the way they looked. I liked the image of that particular statuary. And I started thinking, man. I'd hate to stumble upon these things and have those things come to life. And then I remembered uh, the was it Golden Voyage of Sinbad and you know some of the other old older movies <clears throat> with the stop action animation. And in that particular uh, movie, um, the heroes were in uh, a temple, and the villain, who was I believe it was Prince uh, Cora, that was actually played by Tom Baker. Um, animated a statue that was there, the, their their god idol. And I thought, wow, well, that would be cool if you could do that with these two things. Those are vicious guardians of this throne. So that got me thinking. So I added a little surprise in this model. And these are completely removable. They're magnetized. Okay. Because... And I'm working on a base. I have a base that it's not quite strong enough uh, to hold this. Uh, i got to rework it slightly. But I thought it would be cool if ever there was a scenario where you had these statues could be come to life in whatever game you're playing. Just pop them on a base and there you go. You got yourself a couple more monsters. <laughs> so, Dave, I hope, it's, hope you like that approach. Um, anyway, I really like the way this came out. And it's a pretty exciting build. I can't wait to, uh, to see this on the table. All right, so that's the end of the project. It's come out very, very well. I'm 
or at least in my opinion. I uh, hope and Dave you like it, <clears throat> and I look forward to the next project, whatever that's going to be. So I hope you guys got some ideas as I went through this, especially on the uh, the red granite. And let me know in the comments below. Thanks f uh, for watching, sticking with me through this project. Share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell to uh, be notified of any other videos that come out, especially uh, my update project updates. All right. Good night, all, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.